So here we have the Renault Clio on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. Uh, in the middle, you can see the digital readout for the speedometer. And over on the right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. Above the speedometer, you can see the total miles. They are only 17,797. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control uh, settings on both sides of the steering wheel, as well as voice activation for your phone. You won't be able to use that till you set your phone up, of course, and that is done by hitting the telephone button in the centre here and then going down to pair device. You then press OK and follow the instructions on screen, which we're not going to do at the moment. When it comes to the radio on this car, uh, we've got FM, as you can see. Uh, we've also got AM radio available to us. Uh, and then you can go back around into circle to where you started a moment ago. If you listen to your own music, press the media button. Nothing is connected at the moment. We've got uh, an auxiliary input, as you can see, and also USB input just there as well. Working our way down, we then have the air conditioning for the car. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction the air is distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so it's off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set just here. Beneath that, we have the start stop button for the engine. Slot the key in here in order that you can start the car and then obviously you can pull it out of there when you stop the vehicle. We then have a 12 volt charging socket down the bottom here and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.